think we'll start off by getting the caliper out of the way. We have to remove these two split pins and we can take these pegs out I've already gave them a service the last time I had it on the road so it shouldn't be too bad just need to prise them out a little As you can see, they're not too bad. These was what was on it when I got it. At the moment I'm trying to work a way around not having to take the uh, metal brake hose off so I don't need to bleed it. So there's these two bolts at the top, the 17 mil. There's two bolts, ear and ear. So I think if we remove the two bolts from there, then we can take this bracket off, then we don't need to remove this metal brake pipe. All right, so I'm just undoing the second one now. You have to use a spanner because you can't get the ratchet in. You can only do it by less than quarter of a turn right we finally got that nut out from the top if you have a look in here there's a two 17 mils there's one there and one there you have to use a 17 mil spanner on that one because the pipes in the way you have to be very careful not to bend this brake pipe. Right, we've just undone the top caliper bolt. You need a 12 sided socket. Instead of a 6 sided, that's more common now. It's a half inch fits on like a glove. Now we're going to do the bottom one. Use a file to clean it off. And a torch to see what I'm doing. Now I've cleaned it off, I'm going to put the free 8 drive onto an half inch adapter so we get a bit more leverage. But only once you got the socket all the way on, not before.
So now they're both off. So that's the caliper off the vehicle now. We've just got the other bolt out from the top bracket. We have to be move all this now without <laughs> bending the brake pipe. That is the very important part. To put that so you don't bend this brake pipe. Bend that brake pipe, you have to make a new one. As you can see, we have uh, tied up the caliper to the spring, just in case. But we have a wedge nicely on the tri rail end. So now, we have to take this off, which is just a rubber cover. There's a circle clip there. Okay, so we've got our circle clip pliers now to get that off. Take the circle clip off. Couple of washers, two washers. So, I luckily have this bar, but I suggest, probably be a good idea to slacken these nuts off before you take the brakes off. So now we have took that off. Needs a little bit of prizing to get it off. Okay, you can't really see, but there's a little tag here that's folded round. Now we have to try and get it back. See that how it spreads out there? You can see the tags in there. Knock that tag back. So you can turn the air uh, nut. Okay. 
Not sure what socket size that is. Right, I found a socket, it's an inch and a quarter width. width. take the nut off. Somebody's used a chisel before to get it off. That's just a bit stuck on, I don't think it should be on like that. There we go, I got that off. It'd been tagged over on the inside. Here's the uh, secondary nut, which is a lot easier to get off. There's the bearing. So we finally got it off. I'll take it into the workshop to uh, change the disc and clean everything up. Alright, we have to undo the five bolts on the inside. So nine sixteenths. I believe you can use a 14 mil as well, 12 sided socket. There's one undone. That's the other one we did earlier. Three. And five. <laughs> the last one was a bit tricky.
And that's how you get the disc off. Uh, I'm going to clean it all up now. And, uh, and I'll see you back at assembly. Hello guys and welcome back. It's been a few weeks. We uh, got the wrong disc. We got one uh, for the later model or oh, the newer model. Instead of the solid. We cleaned it up and painted it a little. We brought in the uh, wheel. Oh, we had just to help it. Let's just move you guys up a little. We have a 9 16th socket because we don't have a 14 mil 12 sided. This wheel will just make it a little easier for uh, tightening it back on. Should go on pretty easy, really. Just going to tighten them all down a bit. It's pretty easy. Should have probably put copper slip on these. I'll do it on the others, but I'm not going getting it now. Just a bit on each side till it goes all the way down.
Oops. Here we go, we've closed up the gap now. Just give them a one more tight and make sure. And that will do. Alright guys, it's been a while. We had to cover it up. We uh, cleaned it off a bit and painted it. It's not very good, but it'll be alright. Uh, we had to do that because we got vented discs instead. We have a bit of grease here. on it. I'm going to put a bit of grease in the bearings too. Just to, just to replace if anything's been missing. We've got our parts now. There's our bearing that came out. Some people might look, like to put fresh in but It seems okay. Bit of grease in there. And we've got our next piece that we're going to put in. Don't know why that's got a... There we go, we'll put that one in there now. I think we might have to put that piece that next one on afterwards actually. Yeah. Alright. Frag. Alright, let's just pop this on. Working with grease. Why didn't that one go in? Bigger washer on next. The first nut. Oh, yeah. Oh.
Doesn't that look nice? Alright, I'll go and get the socket for this. Alright guys, we've got our inch and a quarter Whitworth. We don't want it too tight. We need it tight enough it spins but doesn't have play. Just pop that on. <laughs> that looks better. Alright, uh, yeah. Feels quite nice, really. Alright, uh, we have to put this back on, but uh, you can see it's a bit bent. And we don't have a new one, so I'm going to go and straighten it. Alright guys, we've straightened it up now. We're just going to pop it on. Need to uh, knock it over. Oh. A bigger screwdriver. Do we have a bigger screwdriver? We should have. Can use this one. Probably a foot jack, Joe. Probably be better. Get the outside one on. Might help us hold the uh, ring steady while we bend it over. Just watching to make sure it doesn't move while we're tightening it up. Oh. We're still free. Oh, we're gone tight now. That's no good. Slacking that off a bit. Just a bit. Still a bit tight, a bit more. Obviously that ring's not working as it should. Feels okay. Yeah, well the ring hasn't moved so I don't know why it tightened up like that. Because we're still knocking it over in the same place. Tighten it up once more, see if it does move. No, oh, it does move, that's the thing that ring's got a bit of play in it. But it'll be alright. Alright, now we're going to fold out the top half. Feels nice. Feels lovely that. Okay. Alright, we'll just grease up this spline here before we uh put this front plate back on. 
line up them holes and give it a bit of a tap on. Seventeen mil uh, bolts back in. Oh. Actually, while well, I remember. Gonna add some copper slip to the uh, thread so they're easier to take off in the future. Don't need a lot, just a bit. Just a just a little bit, just to get it going. Keeps everything nice and free. You don't want anything getting st stiff and solid and you can't open it. It's better. He's a 17. So the company I got the uh, brake disc off, they sorted the problem out pretty quick. They sent the disc straight away, 24 hour post. Tighten these up afterwards once we've got the uh, rubber brake caliper back on. <sighs> what else do we have to put her back on here? Alright, we need to put the uh, two shims back on that we took off. Get the uh, clip with these uh, clip wires. Spread them. And we'll put Knock it into place with the uh, thing. There it went. It went then. Nice and done. Cover. So, when you put the uh, bolts on for the bearings, make sure you do only just nip up the inside one and get it just right. You know, so it turns nicely. We've got a bit of resistance there because it's off the drive shaft now. Right, now we need to do the uh, brake caliper. Alright, we're just going to push the uh, pistons back in the caliper. Uh, make sure you undo the uh, the top when you master the cylinder. Going to put some spray on them just to free them up a bit. So a bit closer. Oh, next one up. It pushed back really nice, they do. Careful there when you're pushing around the pipe. Alright, that should 
just a bit of maintenance spray. It'll clean off. <sighs> right, now we need to get this all back together now. In the right spot. Get the rope out of the way. Now we need to be careful not to break this copper pipe, otherwise we're going to have to make a new one. Probably 13 mil 12 sided. Just so we can adjust the top bracket that we took off. Right, let's see if we can adjust this. What's going on here? Okay, we've got the two bolts here. I think they're 17. They go back in the top plate we took off. One of them was slightly hard to get out, if I remember, because the thingy was in the way. The brake pipe was in the way, but it might go back. Let's it. just tap it in. There we go. Ready to just lift this bracket away slightly and get it in. There. It's going in there. I think it's going in. Pressure pushing away just to line up the ball. Now we've got the second one. Oh, we should have probably copper slipped the first one before we were in. Never mind. It's too much work to get that back out. I like to copper slip everything really. Got my 17mm spanner because you can't use a socket because it's underneath the brake pipe. It's just a, it's in an awkward spot, it's like right underneath and it takes a while to get it back in. I'm screwing it in with my fingers right now, that's the size it wants to go.
Right. We have just took the uh, caliper bolts back out. I've already done the top one. This is the bottom one. I put some copper slip on it. This is a half inch 12 sided socket because it's a uh, 12 sides on it. Yeah, you could probably use 13 mil for this, but that's all I have. I'll uh, go and get the uh, the brake pads now. Alright guys, now we're just going to put the uh, pads in. Just going to clean up the crap. Should have probably done it before we put it on the new disc. But as I said, it's been a few weeks. First time I really had a chance. I've tried them in, they seem to go in quite nicely. So we don't need to file anything off them. So we're just going to put a bit of copper slip on them around where the uh, where they touch. Keeps them all nice and clean where the pistons are rubbing. Just a smear. Don't have to go crazy. I think that's about it really. Then we just pop it in. Keep it, it's all nice and free in there. You want it nice and free. If it's not free, it's no good. So you all know this is the first time I have done this on the Discovery. We've got our pins. We'll put the pins back through. Nice and easy. Should probably put a bit of copper slip on the pins actually, to be fair. You know, you want, you want everything nice and copper slipped up. You can keep everything nice and copper slipped up and well. Your brakes are going to work better. Split pins back in. So that's the brakes done. Okay. I'll just send the assistants off to go and pump the pedal. Make sure it all works as it should do. What we're looking for is that we stop. 
when she pumps it. There you go, look, see? It works perfectly. Nice and free. Now we're going to get a 17mm socket that we had earlier and we're going to go and get her to uh, pump the pedal while we tighten it up. and salt and that's it we're done uh, you can find a clean piece of cloth that you have got and you can just wipe over your discs if you want to you know it'll, it'll wear off but you can clean all the oil off that you put on and that's how you change the front disc on a discovery